Yemen has become the latest Gulf country to be hit by a torrential rainstorm that swept across the region. One person was killed when roads, farms and businesses were flooded in an area around the port city of Mukalla. The same storm has killed at least 19 people in the Gulf. Hello there. It's a beautiful rainbow spotted again on Thursday, particularly across parts of Scotland, such as here in Aberdeenshire. And there will be more rainbows on Friday with sunshine and showers still very much the theme of the day. But we've got Ben at a welly factory. Yes, today. they've been useful recently, haven't they? Yeah, haven't they just? Um, so he's talking about that in the rain. Um, and we're all thinking, OK, we, I think we've had our fair share of it now. We have. Some have had their wettest April on record already. But things are changing a little bit this weekend. There is some good news in the forecast, at least. A very good morning to you. I hope you're well this morning. Uh, yes, something drier to come this weekend for the vast majority. Not a completely dry picture, though, through all parts of the UK. But, but today, it's as you were. More showers around and a fairly cool feel in a blustery north to northwesterly wind. But tonight, a colder night to come than the night we've just had. Chance of frost to take you into the start of the weekend. But as I mentioned, Tanaga and Charlie, it's looking a bit drier this weekend. A lot of cloud around at times. Best of sunshine, some western areas where the highest of the temperatures will be coolest across the east. Now, oh, what a lovely picture. Sorry, that completely took me by surprise. Really, is that this morning sunrise? That's this morning sunrise in Northern Ireland. You'll notice, though, it is quite wet on the ground. It is, yeah. I, we're yeah. sick of that. Sick they, of that. Now, normally you'd say red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Mm. Not this time for Northern Ireland, as I'll show you. It's a getting better kind of day for Northern Ireland. Very good morning to you. But it is a bit of a damp start on the ground here. Overnight showers have been affecting the uh, country. Still a few around at the moment, but they will gradually clear. Overall, though, it is still a day of sunshine and showers for the vast majority of the UK. Why not have a look at the Friday weather with Matt? How about that, Matt? Why not? And Stormy. a bit of good news coming as well for this weekend, as I'll show you. But out there this morning, very good morning to you. It's another day of dodging the shower clouds for some and a little bit on the cool side out there this morning as well, thanks to a northwesterly breeze, although temperatures not as low as they were this time yesterday. Oh, lovely. Have you got a dog there? I have. There he oh. is. Someone's got a lovely dog walk, haven't they? Is that picture sent to us this morning? In the last half hour, in fact. That's lovely a lovely sunshine lovely moment. morning, isn't it? It is, but I urge a little bit of caution, as I'll show you. <laughs> Hello, very good morning to you. But yes, some of you waking up to a bit of sunshine this morning. Not quite as chilly as it was yesterday morning in Italy, but, as I said, it's not the same for everywhere. And there are already some showers around. This is not that far away from where we are at the moment. Some outbreaks of rain on the coast there, uh, well, close to the coast at Aintree. There's Northern Ireland. Could be the warmest day of the year so far in Northern Ireland on Sunday with 18 Celsius, 64 Fahrenheit possible. Certainly, though, this weekend, a welcome break from the rain and we certainly need it because so far this April, these spots in the northwest of England and southern Scotland have all experienced, Naga and Charlie, their wettest April on record. And April is not done yet. April right, showers not done. What do you need, then, if you've got showers? Waterproofs and wellies. There we go. Well, Thanks, there you go. There's one for you. Ben's the, the uh, factory where they make them. That a lot of people looking ahead to the marathon, as we were talking about just a moment ago, on Sunday in London. Indeed, I think it could be perfect conditions for most runners. Looking largely dry, should be dry, maybe small chance of a shower. Not too hot, though. Good conditions. That's the main thing. Great you don't conditions. want it too warm, do you? But the dry weather will be dominant for most of us this weekend. There's a bit of good news to uh, get your Friday underway. At the moment, though, it's a case of still... Tread out there with a bit of caution. Even if it's sunny at the moment, there are a scattering of showers around and they are working their way southwards. Chance of a frost again, particularly across the southern and eastern parts. And that will make it a little bit chilly on the starting line, of course. The big weekend, it is the uh, London Marathon. But could this be perfect weather conditions for your running? Because uh, it won't be too warm. It should be predominantly dry. A little bit breezier later on.